got there, Patty? Look, Dad, the Christmas catalog. Goodness. Is it that time already? Let me see. Kevin, take it easy. We all want to have a look. Look at those boots. Aren't they beauties? And what a lovely looking apron. Let me see. Oh, Mom, isn't this party just beautiful? Mm-hmm. I never get to see anything. Your breakfast, Miss Mouse. See, I never forget you. Kevin, come back to the table. You haven't finished eating. Dearest cousin Emily, it has been a long time since you left the country and, and had, had any fun. fun. You, you poor, poor thing. thing. Why not come to visit me for the holidays? Believe me, the city is the place to be for Christmas. Fondly, your cousin Alexander, Antoine's French Restaurant, 21 Greenwich Avenue, etc., etc. What a surprise! An invitation from cousin Alexander. I wonder if I should accept. No, I couldn't possibly. This is my home. And isn't home what Christmas is all about? I can't imagine Christmas without the smell of pine or the sound of a crackling fire in the fireplace. I'll have to say no. On the other hand, it isn't every day one gets invited to the big city. It's bound to be exciting, and I haven't seen Cousin Alexander in such a long time. Perhaps I ought to go. On the other hand, how could I leave Patty and Kevin for Christmas? Those children are like family to me. I couldn't bear to be away from them. On the other hand, goodness, there's so many hands. Alexander really is family. It's only natural to spend the holidays with him. That's it. I'll ride him immediately and tell him I accept. Alexander, you look so elegant. And 
you, my dear, look so, um, how shall I say, healthy. Um, may I take your umbrella? Oh, this must be the first one ever made. Cousin Emily never was one for fashion. That's better. Now, tell me, how was your trip? Well, well never mind. Was... The important thing is, you made it. Let me show you around town before we go back to my place. The lights will be coming on soon. Then you'll really see something. Is it always like this? Oh no, it's quiet now. But you'll see. Things will perk up later on. Come on, let's do the town. If you ask me, it's a very noisy night. noise. There must be somewhere in the city where I can get a little peace. According to Alexander's letter, his restaurant should be right here. Hmm, that's south. Good. The stars will tell me where south is. Oh no, no stars! This place has no stars. Now what? Oh, it was a terrible mistake to come here. Emily, there you are. I was talking to you and suddenly, poof, you'd vanished. Oh, Alexander, thank goodness. I'm so glad to see you. I thought I'd never find you. There's our trolley. Let's make a dash for it. Wait! Wait for me! Everyone here always 
rushing. you need. Dry clothes and some of Antoine's famous hot chocolat. Come on! I'm coming. Here we are. Antoine's. The best French restaurant in all New York. Oh, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. And just wait till you sample the food. C'est vraiment merveilleuse. Now you must be quiet, Emily. Monsieur le chef does not like mice. Welcome to my home. Oh my! How lovely! I'm not used to anything this grand. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. For Madame's pleasure, the very best from Antoine's kitchen. Mmm, it smells heavenly. But what exactly is all of this? Ah, for the cheeses, we have the Roquefort, Camembert, and Brie. And then here we have Andouillettes, Saucisson, Pâté de Foie Gras, and for the dessert... Stop! I'll never remember all those names, but that isn't going to stop me from trying them. Mmm, what is this one? Saucisson. Saucisson. It sounds like music, but it tastes like sausage. <laughs> oh, Alexander, before I forget, I've brought you a small gift for Christmas. My Emily, thank you. I made them myself. They are, how shall I say, extraordinary. I have a very special place for them. And I have a little something for you. Oh, Alexander! It's beautiful! I'm glad you like it. Me so angry. Oh, but just wait. I'll take care of the little beasties. <laughs> How can he go to sleep after so much rich food? It was good, though. Alexander was right. This is the place to be for the holidays. But I do miss the pine forest and my spot by the fireplace. And I miss the children most of all. When someone you love is far away You think about them every day Wondering Remember, I miss you. 
And I wonder, do you miss me too? Christmas Kitty. <laughs> this is where you will work. Yes. Your job is to find those nasty, naughty little beasties who steal my Andouillette and fromage, who ruin my towns by nibbling away the crust, who dive into my mousse au chocolat as if into a swimming pool. Oh, I hate them so. But their days are numbered. It's war. Mmm, something smells wonderful. Monsieur le chef is preparing his holiday menu. Let me guess. Cookie Saint-Jacques! That scallops baked with butter and breadcrumbs, then sautéed with onions, <gasps> prawns, wine, and cream sauce. <gasps> oh! Come, I'll show you around the kitchen. Ah, peaches. I see we are having peche cardinal for dessert. That's poached peaches with raspberry puree. Mmm. Mmm. Confectioner's sugar. Monsieur will use it for the creme chantilly. He will beat it with cream and raspberries with that thing just behind you. exciting. What is it, Emily? Pine. I smell pine trees. Mm. Back home, the pine trees stand straight up and look into the sky. Oh, I do prefer seeing them that way. I quite understand. I'm sorry your Christmas is ruined, Emily. But Christmas isn't over yet. And these trees have given me an idea. Why don't you come home with me and spend Christmas in the country? There's still time, if we hurry. I suppose we don't have much choice. I would enjoy that, Emily. Maybe the 
this won't be so bad after all. I should warn you, Alexander. We live a very simple life here on the farm. It's a perfectly nice place, and I'd never want to leave it, of course. But what I'm trying to say is, it isn't elegant like your home. Is it always this quiet here? Oh no, it gets much quieter at night. I think the family must have gone out for a walk, but we can go inside. Why, look at this, Emily. It seems like someone was expecting you. The children! They didn't forget about me after all. Oh, look! Food! I'm famished! How marvelous! It isn't fancy, but the children put these things out just for me. This is the most delicious food I've ever eaten. For a Christmas that was almost a disaster, things have turned out quite well. Thanks to you, Emily. I guess Christmas is not about fancy foods and expensive gifts after all. Oh, Alexander, I'm so happy. This is the best Christmas ever because I'm sharing it with everyone I love. Christmas is where the heart is <laughs> On a city street or a country lane It's something you feel but can't explain Christmas is where the heart is It's a friendly smile for you alone special place you 